Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with Sandra Solomon Fragrance. Yes, hi. Uh, so I invited you over today and I asked you to bring your current most favorite sexy fragrances. And I did. Nice. Yeah. So I have a ton of fragrances that makes me feel sexy, uh, but I chose my six current most favorite sexy fragrances. These are fragrances that really makes me feel sexy and they are fragrances that people around me perceive as sexy as well. And I asked you to do the same. So you brought yes. six fragrances with you, right? Yes, I did. Uh, so yeah, let's just get it on. So the first one from me is Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. Good Here you choice. go, spray it on while yes. I I go through the notes. So we have Violet Leaf Cedar, then we have Jasmine Sandback, Oris, Leather Woody Notes and Tobacco. So I really enjoy this one. To my nose, it's not that far away from the original. No. Uh, the leather is pretty much the same, but there's a difference to it. And uh, the biggest difference, at least to my nose, is that the floral aspect is changed and leather sort of remains the same, but that one is changed in the way that it feels a bit more woody and the smoky aspect sort of to it is changed as well. But I mean, most people are not going to feel a big difference, especially when you are out. Yeah. Uh, and I, when I have the choice between the original and this one, I'll, I go with the original. I like it just a bit more. But since this is a new one, uh, I've been using it a ton. I've had it on when I've been out uh, quite a few times and this one really, really pulls in the compliments and just like the original, it yeah. really, really makes me feel sexy. Yeah. So it's not just my own feeling. People have told me, oh my God, that's such a sexy scent. So how do you feel about it? Yeah, this is definitely sexy and <clears throat> as you said, this is quite similar to, similar to the original. Mm. But the original is more dirty bad boy sexy mm -hmm. and this is elegant kind of bad boy sexy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Elegant bad boy sexy. Yeah. Uh, and the other one was dirty. Dirty bad boy sexy. Dirty bad boy. <laughs> okay. So this is like the suit guy ah. and the other one is like the leather jacket guy ah i yeah. get it i think i get it yeah. okay so you um you uh, really like it right yes okay so uh, i can highly recommend tom ford's ombre leather to you especially if you really enjoy the original then you are going to like this one as well yes. uh, but if you have the original and don't have the money or don't want to buy a fragrance that is sort of a similar to that one then just you know enjoy the original use it and don't ignore this one for now but if you are a leather freak uh, that might sound weird uh, <laughs> like I <laughs> am <good. laughs> uh, then I highly recommend you to try this one out uh, so yeah let's move on to your so my first one is uh, it's not a new one and I have had it in my collection for quite some time but mm. at the moment I am using this quite often mm -hmm. uh, and that is Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord Ooh. and this is a beautiful one with coffee and chocolate Ooh. or cacao yeah um, so I have had people coming up to me saying like wow you smell so familiar. Mm. And then then they ask, what do you have on? And then I say, yeah, it's this fragrance. But it's I'm, chocolate cake. Yeah, I'm guessing you, <laughs> I'm guessing what you pick up is the chocolate. And then they're like, oh yeah. And now I just, ah. now I just, now you know that I'm a chocolate addict. Ah. <laughs> so I'm going to read you the notes in this one. Mandarin orange in the top, then some coffee and osmanthus. Mm and some cacao and tonka bean and this really smells like a chocolate cake so yeah i really enjoy this one it, this is such a cool scent it's yeah, basically it the coffee together with the chocolate and there's a bit more to it as well yeah there is something like boozy in it like mm. some rum or something but there is no rum in the notes but i think that the coffee and the chocolate together maybe is what makes that and, and also this is one that I think is kind of prominent in the coffee notes, mm, which yeah, uh, yeah. not always is the case when there's coffee in the notes. Yeah, so uh, I'm actually sort of thinking that uh, it's more heavy on the coffee than the chocolate, but it could be just my nose. Uh, no. Uh, 
No, at it, least initially. Initially, definitely. Mm. Uh, then when it dries down, it's more like this chocolate vanilla mm. kind of uh, soft scent. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, what I enjoy about this one, if you compare it to other sort of a cocoa chocolatey um, fragrances, is that the this is not to at least to my nose not a thick kind of chocolate. No. And it's not no. a thick kind of fragrance as well. So it, there's, it has a bit of depth to it. Yeah. But it's not in your face super fat, super thick no, or anything. No, still kind of light yeah. and just perfectly like, sweet. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm, I would say like maybe some combination of chocolate and praline. Mm, I, I really enjoy this one. And yeah. I think that this is... Uh, is it sexy? Yes, it's definitely sexy. And what I really enjoy about this one is that it, it, it's different. It's just this chocolatey coffee mix, which is going to make you stand out in a crowd since, yeah. 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 So yeah, that was a really good pick and uh, something I, as a man, can highly recommend. And uh, I'm sure that you, since you brought it, yes. recommend it as well. Yes, yeah, I awesome do. first pick. Next up, we have Spice Bomb Infrared from Victor and Rolf. Yeah. Here you go, spray it on and I'm gonna quickly run through the notes yeah. and we have red fruits, pink pepper, saffron, cinnamon, red pepper, tobacco and benzoin. How do you like that one? You had me at saffron, pink pepper ah. and benzoin. So um, those three. Oh my yeah so yeah. when it, it, you in the opening you can really feel take a take a deep sniff uh, you can really feel the pink pepper and yeah. the saffron in the yeah. opening. Um, uh, and then as it dries down, that tobacco comes forward. Yeah. Um, but the biggest difference to me is the red pepper, the saffron at top. Yeah. They sort of switched out the, um, the vanilla ah. sweetness in, the, in that one yeah. and yeah. replaced it with this sort of a fruity aspect. Yes, I, just what I'm about to say. It's like a mix of the original yeah. and the extreme, yeah. but they had toned down the tobacco, but instead they have brought something fruity. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, so yeah. Uh, this is like, uh, a, this to me is almost like uh, the perfect blend between something sweet and the original. Yes. So the original will always be, at least uh, according to me, a modern classic. Uh, but Spice Bomb Extreme, I mean, I love it. It's beautiful. It gets the compliments like crazy. You like it as well, right? Yeah, and, and people love it on me. Ah. Yes, ah. I get so many compliments when I have that one on. And most people find that one to be really, really sexy. Yeah, but this one to me is where they, since they switched out the sweetness to a fruity sweetness, and since they added the saffron and everything, it feels like sort of the perfect flanker. And in my review of it, I said that this one is clearly, at least according to me, the worthy flanker of the original. I really enjoy it. Uh, so far, I've used it for maybe about a month. I've had it on when I've been out and people absolutely love it. Yeah. Pretty much everyone wants to know what it is that I have on. And they are so surprised when I tell them that they, it's the new Spice Bomb, uh, since most people are familiar with Spice Bomb, yeah. but not everyone knows that they released a new one. And I would say that um, you might not agree, mm. but this is maybe, to me, even better than the original, mm. which is really, really good. Yeah, I think this is, this is clearly uh, like my favorite out of the three ones right now. Uh, I enjoyed this one more than yeah, oh my. If I enjoyed this it. one more than Extreme. And I know that that according to that sound that's pretty much blasphemy to a lot of <laughs> you guys out there because you love Spice from Extreme so much. Yeah, but, but if you one. smell it, do you think it kind of uh, resembles uh, to um, One Million Privia from Paco Rabanne? Mm -hmm. Mm, I think maybe some aspects yeah. uh, and that one is a bit tobacco-ish as well yeah with and some has sweet... that fruity note as well yeah but I think this one might be actually a bit more rich on the fruity side yes. Yes. Um, 
But yeah, so this yeah, is really good choice. Yeah, you agree. Yes. Uh, highly recommended. Uh, I mean, if you love Spice Bomb Extreme, if you love Spice Bomb, then you are most likely going to enjoy this one as well. Uh, as long as you don't have anything against like a fruity kind of sweetness and the saffron. Uh, highly recommended and you are going to get compliments when you have this one off for sure. Yes. My second one is a real cheapy mm -hmm. and a really good cheapy mm -hmm. uh, that I think actually resembles to um, Poison Girl EDP from mm -hmm. Dior. But this costs like a tenth of the price. Ooh. This is like 20 bucks or something. Mm -hmm. So this is... Britney Spears prerogative. Whoa, yes. Britney Spears. Yeah, your favorite. Wow. <laughs> Let's try it out. Do you have the notes? Yes, I do have some notes. And we have a top with apricot, goji berries and pink pepper. Then in the middle we have some coffee, saffron and uh, red lily. And in the base some sandalwood, amberwood and nothing else. Mm -hmm. So there's <laughs> yeah. this... Uh... So this uh, spicy side. It has this sweet fruit side with the apricot. We have some, yeah, some, some co coffee note in there. And I think you do pick up the beautiful sandalwood as well. I'm surprised. I mean, well, I shouldn't say surprised because I'm not that well versed into the world of Britney Spears. But now you uh, have actually life quite a few from her. This is actually quite well made. Yeah, I think so. Um, um, and that is what I think. I have, I have several from her mm. um, or her brand, uh, and they are all quite for being cheapies. They feel kind of well made and mm. complex in mm. the notes, uh, and it's not, they're not generic or just smelling like one note. Mm. Uh, so they are kind of well made. Um, I so how come say, you chose this one? Um, I chose this one because I think it's a sexy scent. Uh, it's not a scent that projects very very much uh, it kind of does stay on for quite a good time uh, but I'm thinking if you're going to have something sexy on you for some sexy time you don't need it to project because probably you will be close Whoa. to the other so person so prer prerogative is a sexy time fragrance yeah Ah, so this is a sexy fragrance for sexy time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but is this um, is this the one you keep telling me that you get uh, a lot of compliments for? Uh, no, it's uh, Curious. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. But curious always get, gives me compliments from females. Ah. Uh, and I think this is more the one that will give me compliments from the men. I think this for a cheap bit, this is this is really really good uh, yes. and uh, yeah I can highly recommend this one if you haven't tried it especially if it's just 20 bucks yeah uh, so yeah that was a good pick so this is like if you don't have so much money to spend on fragrances mm. um, get this one and you will feel like you have a more exclusive fragrance mm. than this is Awesome. Yeah. So next up, we have the most wanted from Azaro. Yeah. Uh, try it out. So we have cardamom, we have toffee, and we have amberwood. That sounds good. So it's just three notes, uh, but to my nose, it's sort of a more, more nuanced. It's yeah. it just it doesn't feel like it's just three notes. There no. are so many different nuances to it. It doesn't feel like. It has just three notes, but it feels kind of clean mm. in whatever it smells. So, like a spicy, sweet, sexy scent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I believe it's the amberwood that gives it this sort of a, a nuanced depth that it has. So, yeah. to my nose, there's like this sort of a slight hint of something sweet. Obviously, that comes from the toffee, yeah. uh, but there's another nuance of sweet in it as well. And I'm thinking that it comes from the amberwood combination. Yeah. Uh, it's something like, not like um, sandalwood, but you know, that woody, beautiful veil mm. that can be just around the fragrance. And that's what this has. So yeah, this is, um, I mean, if you... If you compare it to other fragrances that had toffee in it or caramel, yeah. uh, they come across as something that sometimes feel really super sweet 
like the, like the candy. Yeah. But this one to me is, it is sweet. It has a sweet aspect to it, but that sweetness is not too heavy in any no. way. So it feels more, instead of going in a gourmand direction, yeah. it provides just enough sweetness to make it sexy, but it's done in such a way that it's still sort of mature. Yeah. It's a bit more sort of elegant. It's a bit more edgy, so it doesn't go into this sort of... Kind a... of like, I would say kind of like fresh aromatic. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, I think I keep this one. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I've, I've talked about this one before. Uh, this one is just, I mean, I loved mo the most one, you know, I loved Wanted by Night. But that one to me is way more uh, sweet than this one is. Yeah. Uh, so this one to me is edgy, it's sexy, it has a sweetness to it, but that sweetness is not too heavy. No. Uh, and it's balanced up by something masculine and truly fantastic and really sexy. And the rea reactions I've had when I've had it on and been out has been really, really nice. So I can highly recommend you to try the most wanted and make sure you don't miss out on what I think is an epic fragrance. And that's the, the other flanker. Uh, wanted by night. I just love that yes, one. Yes, that one is uh, good. So highly recommend it. And you think this is sexy as well? Damn sexy. Awesome. So I chose a classic one for mm. the next one. And this is, it's actually not my current favorite. It's like my everyday, all time favorite. All -time ah, favorite. And I get one that. of my signature scents. Mm. This is beautiful. And it's crazy sexy according mm. to me. Um, both on men and women. Tell them what it is. Yes, it's Tom Ford Black Orchid. Oh my. Yes, please put oh some. Oh my, in that oh strip. my, oh my. And I'm gonna read you some of the notes because yeah, this there's... has a ton yeah. of notes. So we have unbelievably some truffle. Some... Wait, let me interrupt you. I yeah. think, I think <laughs> it just sort of uh, finished. Oh, I managed no. to get two sprays. So I think you need to buy a new one. Oh. The question is, are you going to buy a new one? I need to get sponsored really soon. Ah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this to me is something that you, everyone should have uh, always. No, I'm so happy that most people don't have this ah. one because that makes me smell amazing when well, others let me Let me rephrase this. As your friend, I recommend you to always have a bottle of it in your collection so uh, now since this yeah. seems to be empty i just got three squirts on this one i recommend you to restock on this one yeah um uh, but yeah read out the notes please yes some truffles some black currants ylang ylang some uh, white florals some other florals <laughs> some spices gardenia fruity notes we have mexican chocolate some vetiver, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, incense. I can go on. There are so many good things in this one. Yeah. Um, so, um, I mean, we, this oh is God. not the first time we talk, talk no. about this one. Uh, it's so good. It's so rich. It's so opulent. It's so thick, but thick in a what nice way. What is opulent? Uh, you have to Google that one. My God. Uh, it's so sexy. <laughs> it's so powerful. It's so unique. It's so attention grabbing. It's elegant yet raw and edgy and sexy. Yes. This is to me an iconic fragrance and it's simply, it's so good. This is crazy. And I, I kind of forget from time to time how much I love it. Uh, but when I put my nose to it, it's like an explosion and it's, I just yeah. love it. It's amazing. And to me, uh, what I get most is you have the floral aspect. Yeah. But then you have that truffle, which to my nose is quite present. Yeah. Um, and then we have that chocolate patchouli blend together with the vanilla. Yeah. So it's like this. And the incense. Yeah, incense. Yeah, the beautiful incense yeah. in this case. Yeah, this is no sort of an old school funky incense. No, no. Uh, so the, there's, they managed to blend this in such a unique way that I, it's hard to sort of describe it. I mean, I can't, I can't say that it's patchouli, but no, it's not your common patchouli. No. I can say that it's incense, but it's not your common incense no. fragrance. This is something unique. It's so damn sexy and I am happy that you keep on using it and that you actually finished a bottle yeah, of it. Yeah, and this was actually 
when I started my journey, this was one of the first ones I bought. And I felt like I kind of started out hardcore with this ah. one because it's so unique. It's so different from everything else. But I just loved it from the first second. Ah. Yes. So have you tried uh, the new Parfum? Yes. How do you feel it compares to this one? Is it um, as sexy? It's very... Yeah, it's definitely as sexy. It's it's very good, but I think it's very similar to the original, and I ah. actually do prefer the original. Mm. Yes. Ah, okay. So yeah, w I can only highly uh, agree. This is just an epic one, and this mm. is, I mean, I have it as well, and this will always be in my top top collection of my sort of a best most favorite fragrances. Yeah. And this is so damn sexy on a woman. Highly recommended. So next up we have Paco Rabanne Dandy Me. I just fell in love with it from the first sniff. Uh, and I have the first review on YouTube. I'm going to link to wow. it, that one above. Uh, so spray it on and I'm going to quickly run through the notes. Yes. Cinnamon, grapefruit, saffron. Then we have rose, geranium. And then at the base, vanilla, sandalwood and wood. Yes. How do you like it? This is like, I don't know what dandy me means, but yeah, this is I so sexy, so when you smell it, you're just like, dandy, dandy me. me. Oh, okay, yeah. wow. Uh, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Yeah. It's so amazing. And it, that light, woody, light and beautiful woody note is just amazing. And then yeah. something fruity at the top. So to me, yeah. I don't pick up, uh, it says oud here, but I don't pick up any oud. No. This to me is focused on the sandalwood, and yeah. then you have the sweet aspect of the vanilla. Uh, then you have the rose. So and a beautiful rose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this to me is really sort of focused on the bright opening with the grapefruit at the top together with the cinnamon. But the super, super focus on this one is the vanilla together with the rose together with the sandalwood. And the grapefruit. And the grapefruit, yes. yeah. And it's so yes. creamy, it's so sweet, but it's not too sweet. Yes, it is sweet. And to some noses, this is going to be su yes. too sweet. But trust me, this is an amazing, addictive fragrance that truly pulls in the compliments. Yes. I just love this one. I, I can't stop using it. I need to sort of restock on it because oh, it's so good. I think... What is it that? Whoa! No, you. T she did not. She did what? not. No, you have it. Where? <laughs> okay. This. This is so good. I can <laughs> highly recommend it. If you can get a get your hands on a, a copy of it, do you say that? No. No. Um. If you can get your hands on, on it, a bottle of it, bottle of it, or a bag. Uh, if you can get your hands on a <laughs> bottle of this one, then I can highly recommend you to do so. How do you feel about it? I love it. This is amazing. If you're going to uh, exp not explain, if you're going to put three words to this fragrance, which are they going to be? Crazy, beautiful, sexy. Oh, yes. crazy, beautiful, sexy. I love that. Uh, yeah, w w let's move on. But uh, Dan Demi, highly recommended. Yeah. Next up, we have a disgusting one that some people don't like at all, but some people love it, and I'm one that loves it. And for those of you who have some trouble with it, I'm going to give you a great layer into mm -hmm. uh, And it is Oud Isfahan from mm. Dior. This now, is... you said a disgusting one. Yes. But mm, I can't agree. And beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, would, I would personally <laughs> lead with beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Both. But, but disgusting can be beautiful. Like this one, and like the other yeah. one. It's beautiful, yeah. but it's disgusting. Um, so what we have here is some labdanum, rose, patchouli, saffron, uh, old sandalwood, and cedar. And I have had mm. only, no, I have had some good reactions, but mostly bad ah, reactions to this okay. one. But it doesn't matter, because yeah. I feel so sexy in this. I think it smells so beautiful and amazing. and this is the perfect rose wood mm, combo. Yeah. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So there are so many rose wood combos in the world. Uh, you just got to pick the one you enjoy the most. Yeah. Uh, this to me is one of those, it is funky, but it's funky in a beautiful way. Uh, it is elegant, but it's elegant in a sexy way. Yeah. 
Uh, and it's definitely dirty, but dirty in a good way. Yeah. Um, don't get this one if you are super sensitive to that sort of a dirty kind of wood. No. But, but, the, but in the same way that it's a dirty wood, it's a really beautiful wood. Yeah, yeah, to it's me. It's not a funky wood. No, no, no. But uh, I'm just saying that people who are you, uh, usually sort of afraid of wood yeah. maybe skip this one. Yeah. But to me, this is just straight up super sexy, but it's elegant at the same time. It's really like the uh, pull and push between the rose and the wood. Yeah, yeah. And um, <clears throat> I actually just recently got a tip of um, uh, perfect layering for this one that I had mm. not tried before. Mm. Uh, this one together with Rouge Trafalgar from Dior. Ooh. Wow. Yes. Nice. That was so beautiful. I mean, Rouge Trafalgar with its fruity berries together with this one. It took the edge of the oud and just made it beautiful. Mm. So I can really recommend you to try that one if you have this and maybe have the other one or just want to try this one out. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, Udi Svahan is just a magical uh, perfume. Uh, and this one, not only is it sexy on a woman, but it also makes anyone, a woman or a man, stand out in a crowd. Yeah. You know when you put this one on that you don't smell like everyone else. Yeah. This is no Hugo Boss. No. This is no Calvin Klein or Lancome. <laughs> uh, this is Oud Isfa. Fuck. Han, <laughs> and it's so damn good. Uh, yeah, this yeah. one is and this. If you are um, indecisive in the beginning, mm. just put it on, let it sit for like 30 minutes or 60 minutes, and then you will feel this wonderful, beautiful sand cloud. Mm. It really gets, it's better in, it, it's, it's amazing in the opening, but it's even better in the dry down. Mm. And for yourself, this is a beautiful scent. You know, some fragrances you don't feel so much of yourself, but mm. everyone else can feel it. But this one, yeah, you yeah. really walk yeah. around and think like, wow, yeah. I smell beautiful. Awesome, awesome, uh, good. Uh, this is an amazing one and it's a sexy one. For sure. Next up we have Dior Sauvage Elixir. Here you go, try it out. Yeah. I'm gonna read the notes. So we have cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, grapefruit, then we have lavender, and then we have licorice, sandwood, amber, patchouli, and Haitian vetiver. So uh, I go, I'm gonna link to my review of it above. You can check it out. Uh, this one to me, I mean, all of the Sauvages are fantastic fragrances. I mean, the original when it came out, and still, yeah. it's a unique fragrance. It's a mass appealing fragrance that I don't think you can go wrong with. Then we have the EDP. The EDP is an amazing one as well. Then we have Parfum. This one to me, and I actually noticed this maybe the other day, is that this one feels like a fusion between the EDP yeah. And I think the original, something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, and I think it could be the lavender or something, but it's something reminds me of the EDP. Yeah, and something of the sweetness yeah. that reminds of the EDP. But this one is, to, to me, it's focused on that licorice, the sandalwood and the lavender. Yeah, and I think it's kind of good that they made all the others before this one came out, because if they would have made this from the beginning they wouldn't have released any of the others ah. because nothing is as good as this one yeah it's so good i've had this one on plenty of times when i've been out since i bought it and every single time i put it on when i go out someone says something and they don't say bad things no but oh, they, or they maybe good they do good say things, bad things but bad bad Naughty. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> uh, this is just an awesome one. I love putting this one on and it really makes me feel sexy. And I've heard from Dior that the Sauvage collection uh, is their most best selling sort of a fragrance collection uh, ever. And I understand it because yeah. pretty much every single guy on planet Earth has the original. But guys, listen, not every single guy at least yet have this one on. Yeah. So buy it, it's new, you are going to smell fantastic. People around you are going to feel that you smell sexy and insanely good. And since not every guy has had it yet, you are going to smell kind of unique as well. Yeah, and I am gonna recommend you to like use 
the f out of this. Oh, because whoa. in a year everyone will smell like this because they will discover how yeah. good this is. Yeah, I'm surprised that you actually took the F word in your mouth. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> whoa, I'm in what's, bad going company. <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? Uh, but yeah, I love it. I feel <laughs> this one makes me feel really sexy. It gives me a unique vibe and I absolutely love it. And I love the reactions I get when the, with this one on. And you yeah. agree that it's sexy? Yes. Uh, okay, awesome. Let's move on. The one I have chosen now is my latest from Guerlain. Mm. I have the uh, Mongerlan original since way back and I love it. Uh, and I needed to get myself... Wow! The intense one, look how much I yeah, have used. Yeah, you, you put a pretty good oh dent on it. I love God. it. Awesome. Yeah, this is beautiful. And mm. I'm going to read you the notes. Mm. So in this one, we have lavender, mandarin, orange, bergamot. Then in the middle, some uh, Tahitian vanilla, Mad Madagascar vanilla, iris, jasmine, sabac, and rose. Then in the base, cumarin, patchouli, licorice, benzoin, Australian sandalwood, and mm. white musk. Isn't it good? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> there are fragrances and then there are fragrances that pretty much makes me wow. go uh, like speechle speechless. This <laughs> speechless. one is... I don't know what to say when I, when I sniff that one. It's so damn sexy. It's so damn good. I believe yeah. this is the one you opened during our fragrance haul, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. So this is... This is Oh. I'm just gonna keep it at that. It's so sexy. And I just remembered that I that I have another Mongar Lang coming in for our next Whoa. fragrance. Whoa! Yes. Nice. So if that is at least at, as half as good as this one, it's gonna be amazing. <sighs> this is this is so friggin' cool. I think it's it's like a. It's hard to describe it, but it has so many different kinds of element. It's not linear. It's no. not a single note or anything. No. It's not too sweet in any, in any way, but there's a sweetness to it. Uh, I can't remember if you said that it's, there's a woody side to it as yes. well. This, it feels yes, like it. Yes, Australian sandalwood. Ah, and it has this sort of a, not sort of a fizzy top, but there's like a, yeah. this sparkling element at the top, yes. which is so cool. So you have that top, which is beautiful. Then you have the mid, which is fantastic. Yeah. And then you have a sweet and woody side to it as well, which is just perfect. This it's is just, so good. Yeah, it's just beautiful with that sweet vanilla, the light wood and yeah, those florals. But not heavy on the florals, but still it's yeah. a kind of floral fragrance. Um, so, so I mean, and elegant. I guess it's uh, it, w one part of me feels uh, sort of a, I think it's sad. It's not sad, but uh, too bad maybe that not more women have bought this one. Yeah. Because it would have been, uh, I would, it would have been nice to pick this one up when I'm out and about. Yeah. Uh, but the other side of me feels that it's, that's a good thing because <laughs> yes. I can't keep going sort of a speechless every time I no. get a whiff of it. No. Uh, but this one, this one does something to my brain. It just... I'm just seeing you now at the club and like, Finding a woman that you think is really attractive and you go up to her and she smells like this and you're like... Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I, and then you go to the next one like... <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, I think... Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. It, this, this one... <laughs> Really? This, you this, don't know what to say? I, I always keep on ranting. I can't stop talking, but this one makes me just want to <laughs> yeah. shut up and I'm gonna, enjoy it. I'm going to bring a bottle of this when we hang together, because when we're out oh, and if you are talking too much, I'm going to be like, Ch -ch -ch, and then whoa, I what are you I'm going to be able to speak. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I love this one. This is insanely sexy. Yeah. And if you enjoy the notes, if you want something that is truly spectacular, then you owe it to yourself to check this one out. Yes. So if you are following me, which you are, right? Uh, then you have seen this one from the fragrance haul that I did. Uh, and this one is Valentino Uomo Noir Absolu. Um, this one was actually a blind buy. I had such a hard time finding it. Uh, and I'm going to guess it's because they are actually discontinuing it or something, which I feel is so, wow. so... Wow, oh no, yeah. you need to... Uh, 
But this one to mm -hmm. me is cinnamon, pepper, incense, olibanum, and sandalwood. That was actually according to the notes. But this <laughs> one to me uh, is, uh, is something that has a bit of the original, but it's so heavy on the incense. But I'm usually overly, I'm usually sensitive to sort of a overly old schoolish use of incense. Yeah, but, but this one is incense heavy, but incense heavy in a really sexy way. And you know uh, what kind of incense this reminds me of? No. The one in Black Orchid. Ah. And that's the beautiful kind of, kind of incense. The one that is done in a perfect way. And you, I believe you actually said that during our fragrance hall, and you are oh, correct. I, I forgot about it, but yeah, there's something about uh, black orchid in this one, and that. Wow. Uh, oh my God! If I get me a man, he's gonna wear this, and I'm gonna have Tom for black orchid, and we are going to smell amazing. That is a good, uh, yeah. good fragrance couple. Um, this one. I mean, I'm, uh, I, I believe I now have the complete uh, Valentino Uomo collection. And this one is definitely at the top together yes. with Intense. This I, one is at the top. Yeah, you, the yeah I know you feel that this <laughs> one is. And I'm sort of going back and forth between <laughs> this one and Intense. I love Intense. Uh, but it's so good. And during the short amount of time I've had it on, I've already, re I've already received multiple compliments and you absolutely love it as well right this is so amazing so uh, if you have the chance make sure you chase this one down uh but you just make sure that you actually enjoy that sort of a core valentino uomo scent profile and that you enjoy incense otherwise you're not going to enjoy this one no but the women are going to make you or think that you smell amazing. So if you don't like it, but you want the women to make you think that you smell amazing, you wear this one. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, this is another one that is currently one of my favorite uh, s fragrances that makes me feel really sexy. And that uh, those around me uh, so far feel the same way about it. Most people say that they feel that this is a unique scent that smells really, really sexy. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I can highly recommend it to you and you enjoy it as well. Love you it. love it. Ah, okay. Yeah. And now I have something elegant, beautiful and sexy coming Ooh. your way. Ooh, and this perfect is combo. Club de Nuit ah. Intense Woman oh from our muff. And this is it's yeah. it's so this good i gotta spray it on i gotta spray and it crazy on crazy beautiful so some of the notes are in the top rose saffron and geranium then we have some nutmeg pepper violet and caraway and some patchouli vanilla oud and amber oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh my it's good yeah uh, this gives me sort of the same feeling as uh, mongolan but there's a big difference. This one goes to the darker side. Yeah. This to me, yeah. Mongolan is sort of a hovering between medium, strong, but it has that light airy side as well. This one is going deep. It's like shut up sexy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I believe it has, did it have some sort of a chocolate sweet um, sort of a thing? No. I'm wondering it what that sort of a- um, vanilla. Some amber, mm. the saffron maybe makes it kind of sweet. Some nutmeg. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> and a so, beautiful, beautiful rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is. I mean, it's just. It's hard to explain it. I think you need to experience it for yourself. Yes. If you have tried Noir de Noir from Tom Ford, then you might recognize this one. Um, I love this one, and I think it's it's, so it's an amazing release from uh, our muff. And the feeling you have when you have this on, you yeah. feel so good. You feel like you have one of the most exclusive fragrances on you, and you do smell exclusive. Mm. I can uh, only highly agree. It's This one is so sexy. This is the perfect date night fragrance when yeah. you want something that smells rich, uh, exclusive and just super super sexy yet elegant at the same time yeah okay so if you would pick one from my six uh, that you feel is the sexiest which one would it be this 
is really, really hard. Mm. But it's also really, really simple because mm -hmm. these six are so amazingly sexy, but this is crazy sexy. Mm. So to pick one was just so easy. This is beautiful. So the Valentino Omo Noir absolute it's, is your favorite sexy yeah. one from these six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I, I almost, uh, I had a feeling you would pick that one yeah. <laughs> because you can't stop uh, talking about it. No. Um, so uh, I can only say the same thing. This is, it's so hard. I narrowed it from six whoa, whoa. to four and we have Udis Bahan. Then we have, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm going to, get there i'm gonna get there i'm just trying to tell everyone how insanely hard this is <laughs> so we have udis bahan then we have um club de nuit and then we have the classic iconic black orchid and then the mongolian this is this is so hard because how can i choose I c how can i not choose the epic yeah. one um so uh, i feel it's between these two Okay. And I'm I'm actually going to do something that is going to sound weird, especially coming from me. I'm yeah. going to choose, I'm going to walk away from Black Orchid. I know it's perfect. No. This is a perfect 10 according to me. This is a perfect sexy rebel. It smells so damn good. But currently, currently I'm in love with the Monterland. So if Land. I said that you Currently, can only because keep one for the rest of your life. Then it would be, then it would be black orchid, yeah. But currently, I mean, this to <laughs> me, I, I mean, I've smelt this one for so long. This one to me is a fairly new one that just smells so insanely good. So currently, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. But it's a toss up between these two because these two are so damn good, both of them. Uh, so yeah, that was it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for coming over. Thank this you. was a lot of fun. Yes. If you enjoyed this uh, video, then I would highly appreciate if you would like it. Uh, that really helps me out. Thank you. Don't forget to head on over to Sandra Salomon Fragrance. I'm going to link to her channel in the description be below. And oh. hit that notification bell so you oh. don't miss our upcoming yeah. live streams. Yeah. yeah. So hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.